This is module three, lesson 17 homework on the back. Letter D, explain how seven times six equals five times six plus two times six is shown in the table. Well, we know that five times six is 30. And we know that two times six is 12. So when we add 30 plus 12, we get 42. I can look back at my multiplication chart on the front to check my work. And I see on the front that five times six is 30, two times six is 12, and seven times six equals 42. Letter E. Use what you know to find the product of 4 times 16, or 8 fours plus 8 fours. So I'm going to find 8 fours, which is another way of saying 8 times 4, plus 8 times 4. If I look at my chart, I can go to the 8 row and count over 4 times. When I do that, I see 32. If 8 times 4 is 32, then 8 times 4 is 32. I can add those two products together. 32 plus 32 is 64. So 4 times 16 equals 64. Number two, in the lesson, we found that n times n, so the same two numbers, is the sum of the first n odd numbers. Use the pattern to find the value of n for each equation below. The first is done for you. So letter A, 1 plus 3 plus 5 equaled at equal 9. Two numbers that equal 9 when you multiply them together are 3 times 3. On letter B, I have 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7. 1 plus 3 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. 5 plus 7, let's add, add that together in our heads, 9 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That is 16. If I look at my multiplication chart, so flip your paper over, 16 is the product of two of the same numbers, which is 4 times 4. Letter C. I already know 1 plus 3 plus 5 from set plus 7 from letter B equals 16. I can add 9 more, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, plus 11 more will give me 36. Two numbers I can multiply together for 36 are 6 times 6. Again, I know all those numbers from letter C are going to equal 36. So I can add 36 plus 13. 6 plus 3 is 9. 3 plus 1 is 4. 49 plus 17 more. 9 plus 7 is 16. 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus 1 more is 6. Now I know for 66 that there are not two of the same numbers that can equal 66. So I believe that 17 is actually supposed to be a 15. So I'm going to erase what I did over here and I'm going to add 15. 9 plus 5 is 14. 4 plus 1 plus 1 is 6. So I have 64. 
An easy way for me to figure out what n times n is going to be is to count the add-ins, the numbers I added together. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So my problem is going to be 8 times 8. That also works for C. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's why our problem was 6 times 6. Let's see if it works for B. 1, 2, 3, 4. Our problem was 4 times 4. Let's see if it works for A. 1, 2, 3. A has 3, and our problem was 3 times 3. I would like you to try letter E by yourself.